What's up, YouTube? So it doesn't have to be perfect if you're doing a wheel restoration or fixing a curb rash. A lot of you people, a lot of people out there who buy a pre-owned car who don't know what bad body work is and bad paint work is, you would never know. Most of the cars today have all had some type of paint work done, <laughs> but the eye can only see so much unless it's trained to pick up the, the problems. So, okay. here, you, here. So show them this wheel. That is the definition of curb rash, if you couldn't hear. Anthony, as he walked away, um, but yeah, it's okay, we should be having our own in-house body person in the next few years, hopefully, because Anthony thinks he's a body work expert. Debatable. So actually, Michael showed me some some stuff that I didn't pick up in my car. But I wasn't focused on picking it up. So a lot of people like to use excessive tire shine and, and stuff like that. Like look at the, this is tire shine grease. Yeah, So it's good stuff. Right, so if you go to just touch up your wheels, I'm gonna show you a trick. It doesn't have to be perfect. Especially if you're just trying to Brian, go make, make sure it look that a little better. So nail polish removal, nail polish remover, uh, rubbing alcohol, brake clean, brake clean, any type of degreaser to get the crap off of the area. I mean, look at that. Jeez. Well, that's also possibly partially uh, brake no, pad material. That's, that's tire sheen all the way. I think there might be a little bit no. of brake dust. Dude, look, that's freshly tire sheen. Like, I agree with the that. The dude woke up in the morning and seen his tires weren't shiny enough and just tire sheened them up. Tire sheeted. You made sure it's tight? Yeah. All right, cool. So you can do this with a cotton just ball. Pull the rear brakes off. You could do it with uh, a cotton swab, uh, a Q-tip, and you could just go rear and tires. Just dab in. Get away from me. Go to work. Just pull them off for me. Rear. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to use a paper towel. And we're going to use HWP 102 graphite. HWP 102 graphite. Because of the, the color. Because of the shine. Shine on, baby. And this, wheel, this, wheel's, pr this wheel's pretty bad. Yeah, it's not. There's so some you deep just take your, take your can. And, and get it so it has a drip on it and then start filling it in oh yeah what are you the kool-aid man <laughs> and then watch it as it dries right and then you could take the darker color off and i'll show you how to do that later with, uh, once it tacks up, it right, dries. and you will take the darker, we'll take the other stuff right off on the other paint, and it will blend somewhat crap. better. So this is not, we're not looking for perfect, we're looking well, for... Also, if you take a look, you can see the difference in color from here to there. You know, it's going to be darker now because it. it's wet, but once it dries... We're going to take that off of the paint that's not damaged. Did you see that? Yeah. So the paint that's not damaged, right, you're gonna remove Looks. The, the paint from the good paint. It just takes a little bit of work. But then you can actually just blend that in and it's not as noticeable as that. Yeah, no, you can definitely, if you look closely, you can tell the difference in the two colors. Look, Rachel. Good morning, Rachel. So if you're not looking for perfect, you're just looking to make your wheels look a little bit better, then it doesn't take very much for a novice to do that. For someone who wants to make this wheel right, it's going to take epoxy or body work or a lot of prep work and grinding. So Chrysler's use a, a weird, like a rubberized, that, that black material under there is like a rubber 
you know, it's very, very hard to work with. So it's better for you to, to actually take this wheel where it's showing and then grind it out or grind it all the way down. But every wheel manufacturer has a different makeup on how they coat and prep their wheels for paint. Um, but Kia and Hyundai, um, the wheels that have this style of paint on it are very difficult. Um, but just to do something simple um, for yourself and match the color as best you can and, and dupli color is probably one of the best for color matching with availabilities at AutoZone, Advanced, and things that. like that. Um, it's just a little pricey, but I mean, it's better than replacing the But look how well that around. came out for a color match. And then I took off the stuff that was over top of that because this will actually come up darker with a back paint. Yeah, hold on, move your finger. From here, it looks brand new. Like, you can't even tell. You this can part. tell. Yeah, you can tell where. Right. I mean, here, come look. From from here, you can look at it and see the difference. You oh, yeah, isn't that amazing? And it looks barely... You know what I mean? Obviously, you're going to be able to nitpick if you're two inches yeah. away from a car. But yeah. if you look at it from a distance, it's a good five-footer. Yeah. Not even. This is what? Maybe three, four feet away? But the away? more that you correct all the damage, the, the less, less your eyes going to... Exactly. You're not going to be drawn to it. Thank you, guys.